John, if someone were to come into your house, he's uh, wearing a ski mask, he's carrying a shotgun, gets the drop on you, and he robs you of a bunch of your stuff. In your opinion, is, uh, is there something wrong with that? Yeah, yeah sure, he says, yeah, it didn't, that's an easy one. How many of us would agree with John? That's obvious, he's saying, yeah, okay, good. Agile, two people come into your home. Again, they're wearing the ski mask, they get the drop on you and all that sort of stuff. They're, they're cleaning out some of your stuff. You've got this great big built-in television set, and there's this argument that ensues, uh, do they have enough time to get the TV set out of there. And you bring up that your brother-in-law, a, a highway patrolman, is a do over any minute <laughs> to, to watch the game. It might be best that there, there isn't time. And they sort of decide to vote on it. And it turns out the vote is two to one. And they take the TV set. Edgel, does the process of taking your stuff become morally OK if you're allowed to vote on it? If they employ democratic principles and allow you to vote? No. How many of us think that uh, if you get to vote on it, it's okay if people take your stuff? Only if you have a big family. <laughs> Only if you have a big family. <laughs> Martha, three of them come into uh, uh, your house. Uh, this time they're not even wearing, um, they're very brazen now, they're not wearing uh, ski masks, uh, they're dressed in suits and all that sort of thing. You can see that they're carrying guns. And they've prepared a, a list of things that they want you to, to give them, uh, including your Mercedes. Uh, but one of them comments, he says, you know, Martha, young, uh, delightful people like you uh, should be in uh, an exercise program. And while we are going to take your Mercedes, we're going to give you this nice Schwinn. And we encourage you to uh, ride to work and ride to play and whatever. So they, they leave and all. Is it okay if someone takes your Mercedes as long as you get something, some return on your investment? You got the Schwinn out of it. Is it okay now? Not a good return. Not a, not a good return, but is it, is the, does the morality of their taking your car change because they left you something behind? You got something good out of it. You got the Schwinn. Did the morality of the theft change because you got something? No. No. How many of us agree with Martha that the morality did not change? Okay, good. Bill, there you are. All right. Four of them come into your... Uh, shop. Same thing with the Mercedes and the list and all this kind of a stuff. But they do one more thing. Uh, Bill, they're going to not only give you a Schwinn, but they're going to give a Schwinn to a poor person down in Paraguay who needs a Schwinn in order for her to get to work and all and support her family. Let's uh, say a couple of things here. One, you have not only a generic belief and in, in, in value in helping disadvantaged people, but you have a very specific uh, burden on your heart for the people of Paraguay. Uh, you lived down there as a kid, your mom was the ambassador, you went back in the, uh, uh, in the Peace Corps, and you've got this great sense for the people of Paraguay. Bill, does it, is it morally okay for someone to take your Mercedes if they do something that you consider good with some of the proceeds? Doesn't, not morally okay. Not, that does not become morally okay, in your opinion. How many of us agree with Bill that even though they're doing something sort of nice that we approve of, it doesn't become more, the morality of it doesn't change? All right. Uh, let's see, what are we up to? Four. Chris, what if we had 14 in the group? Would it be okay then? I don't believe so. No? <laughs> uh, Richard, 40? Philip, 400? Uh, Linda, 4,000? 4 million, Phyllis? 104 million? Hey, watch it, guys. You're, you're wrecking the carpet. I think libertarianism is the basic principles that your mom and dad, in all likelihood, taught you. They're the principles that my mom and dad taught me. Morality does not come from what the group decides. How many of us tell our uh, teenage children, well, you just find out what everybody else is doing and then you do that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> That's not the way we decide morality. Right?